Welcome back to the Nexus Vault y'all. Please subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and comment on this video with suggestions on other video games and franchises you would like to see. Enjoy today's video, and we love you guys. In the irradiated wastelands of post-apocalyptic America, one video game franchise has stood the test of time, captivating players with its immersive world, rich storytelling, and memorable characters. Welcome to the evolution of Fallout. It all began in 1997 when Interplay Entertainment released the first Fallout game, Fallout, a post-nuclear role-playing game. Set in a retro-futuristic Southern California devastated by nuclear war, all the Fallout games are accompanied by some retro music vibes as well as really immersing the player in the setting of the games. Players assume the role of a vault dweller, tasked with exploring the desolate wasteland and uncovering its secrets. This game is set in the year 2161, nearly a century after a global nuclear war between the United States and China resulted in the destruction of modern civilization. The game features gameplay concepts that would continue throughout the series like the seven primary statistics, as well as special perks that can be unlocked through leveling up and meeting prerequisites. Fallout 1 is played from a trimetric perspective and in classic Fallout fashion, much of the story and interactions are made with non-player characters or NPCs and companions like the pet dog, Dogmeat. In this game, there are three main story quests, and the first is given a time limit of 150 in-game days, and it is game over if the quest is not completed within the allotted time, and these quests are also tracked by the Pip-Boy 2000, a portable wearable computer. Combat is turn-based and uses an action point system. The success of the first game led to the release of Fallout 2 in 1998 expanding upon the original with new locations, characters, and quests. It further solidified the franchise's reputation for deep role-playing mechanics and player choice. This one takes place in the west coast of the U.S. in 2241, 80 years after the events of Fallout and 164 years after the Atomic War. The player takes the role as the Chosen One, the grandchild of the first game's protagonist. Like its predecessor, it is turn-based combat with an action point system. It would take another decade until the series truly reached mainstream success with the release of Fallout 3 by Bethesda Game Studios in 2008. Bethesda bought the franchise in 2007. This marked a significant shift from the isometric perspective of the original games to a fully immersive 3D open world experience. The game takes place in Washington DC, Maryland, and much of Virginia in the year 2277. Although Fallout 3 became a first person action RPG, the action point system remained, and it was dubbed the Vault Tech Assisted Targeting System, or VATS. Used to slow down combat and pick body parts of an enemy or enemies to attack, giving percentages for accuracy of hits. The Pip-Boy returns in an upgraded 3000 form, and the character health is divided into two types, hit points and limbs, and the game even tracks a new statistic, Karma. The Karma statistic is affected by the good or bad deeds you complete in the game, and I don't know about you guys, but leaving Vault 101 at the beginning of Fallout 3 is still a top moment in gaming for me, and seeing the vast wasteland for the first time was stunning. In 2010, Obsidian Entertainment took the reins for Fallout, making Fallout New Vegas, building upon the engine of Fallout 3 while introducing new gameplay mechanics and a morally ambiguous storyline set in the Mojave Wasteland. The main story of New Vegas takes place in 2281, just four years after Fallout 3, but is not technically a sequel, more of a spin-off. The gameplay is very similar, but was updated and upgraded in some much needed ways to provide a fresher take on the combat system from Fallout 3. Fallout 4 released in 2015 further refined the formula with improved graphics, settlement building, and a voice protagonist. However, some fans felt it lacked the depth and choice of its predecessors. Set in Boston and much of Massachusetts, it takes place in 2287, 10 years after Fallout 3 and is considered a direct sequel. The player assumes control of a character simply referred to as the sole survivor. Dogmeat also returns as a companion and there are 12 other companions that can be used. The newest and most notable feature is the ability to craft and deconstruct settlements and buildings. Fallout 76 released in 2018 and faced significant criticism at launch for its technical issues and lack of traditional single player content. 
However, Bethesda has continued to support the game with updates and expansions, gradually improving the overall experience. Set in the year 2102, it is a prequel to previous entries and located in Appalachia, mostly West Virginia. It is the first multiplayer game in the series with dedicated servers with parties of up to four players. NPCs would not be introduced into the game until April 2020, and a premium subscription service was added in October of 2019. As the Fallout series continues to evolve and adapt to new technologies and player expectations, one thing remains constant, its ability to transport players to a world unlike any other where the line between survival and morality is blurred. And now with the new Fallout series streaming on Amazon Prime, they're reaching audiences who would never pick up a controller. In the words of Ron Perlman, war. War never changes.